safety, everybody knows. Close your windows, close your door, all that, all this, very nice. But what do you do when things actually happen? Okay. So then we're gonna give you a few tips about awareness, risk reduction, preventative behavior, and teach you basic techniques on how to defend yourself against, for example, a soccer punch, and we're gonna defend, learn how to defend against a knife attack, or somebody attacking to the head with a knife. You know, they're saying, Allah wa Akbar, that is great, and they come with a knife into your neck, and you, onto your head, and you die. We're gonna try to prevent that from happening. The second part of this uh, event is gonna be active shooter uh, training. But the goal of that second part is not for you, not for you to do, but for you to understand that there are things you can do. And the goal of my training is to create from each synagogue volunteer group of between 10 to 25 people. These people are gonna be the first response in each synagogue that will be able to defend against any attack that may happen. And they will be designated as security team of the shoe of that synagogue. I did it in many, many different places. The only place still I didn't do it is over here. I did it in Long Island, I did it in New Jersey, I did it in, uh, in Manhattan. Today I have a class today in uh, uh, Lincoln Square uh, Synagogue, for example. We, uh, even Williamsburg, Hasidic guys, also have to come and we work with them. So it's been done all over the place. It's time for the Sephardic community also to, uh, to do something about it. Because don't leave everything to God. God wants you to do something, Shadud also. Okay? Mm -hmm. I do this training with Chabad of Zayanov from uh, Halis. They, he has a team of 14 people. They come every week, every Thursday night. They come, they learn, men and women. Okay? It's not just men that have to do everything. Women also have to budge in. If something happens, they come to the ladies section. Don't worry about it. You wait for the men to come and help you. Don't, don't count on the men. Okay? In anything, don't count on the men. You don't trust them anyway. All right. About the knuckle game. Okay? No. There was a guy, also a martial art instructor. I know this on purpose, you understand why? He was, uh, when this, the knockout game happened, the environment is a celebrity, they, they know him. He's a rabbi, consider himself as a rabbi, I don't know if he's an orthodox, but he's a rabbi. And he has uh, also, he has black belt in karate, in judo, jiu-jitsu, all kind of dancing classes, dancing martial arts. And they invited on CNN to show how to defend against his punch, his knockout game. So he did this, said that, throw a punch, said you duck under, okay, at the same time you grab the hand, you punch the person, you grab the hand from here, you bring it all the way there here, and then maybe you go from here and you do, oh, what's it, my back hurts. When you were a kid, okay, and somebody threw a ball to your face, what do you do, what's your natural response? You duck, you cut your Put your hands up, right? Yeah. Put your hands up, that's your natural response, okay. You need to modify it in order to defend against the punch. Okay? How do you get knocked out? When you get hit over here, okay? in the ear. What is this called in Hebrew, by the way? Ear. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 what's that? Ear. For balance, izun. Balance. There's equilibrium inside the liquid uh -huh. that once you get hit in the ear, your body goes sideways and you fall. Okay? People get knocked out when they get hit in the ear, or they get hit in the jaw over here. When this is the disconnect, open your mouth and close. Open and close. You see the connection over here? What does this disconnect from here? The body goes to sleep. Just like in the new car. Something happened with the car, and you know the highway is going to turn off. Why? To prevent future, future damage. Same thing with the body. The body gets hit, something happens too much for the body to, to handle, the body goes down, prevent future damages. Okay. So we have this uh, built in mechanism to prevent future damages. So we need to cover and protect this area. Okay? And I walk in the street and I see a person that looks a little suspicious. I'm not going to keep my head down. And and okay, they get in the face. Okay? Awareness. You see something going on? Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Nice to me. See what happened? He didn't want to punch me, but he didn't punch me. Why didn't he punch me? I communicated with him. You see a bunch of guys. Come. You see, come, stand up, sir. See, they all look uh, scared, right? The black shirt, take your shirt. <laughs> and I walk and I see them. And I see that they're, they're a little uh, shady. And I go, hey, how are you? Have a nice day, guys. That's it. Done. I walk, nothing happened. Why? Eye contact. I create eye contact. I can recognize their face. They understand that. And if something happens, I can go to the police camp. I can actually give this description of these two bad guys. Once you communicate a little bit, and you look at their eyes, whatever they had in mind, it changed. 
let's say you were not in that level or they're not really communicating and one of them will throw a punch okay discuss between the two of you who's gonna throw a punch don't tell me yeah somebody yeah. I'm walking okay I'm walking and somebody throw a punch in my face okay uh -huh. elbow block mm. you see my ear is covered my face is covered the whole side is covered when I cover this even if he hits me my body will observe it okay Kazakh Kazakh my body will observe it okay Kazakh it's wrong my body observes it this is safe okay don't put your hand over here because if you put your hand over here your punch down it's not going to stop okay from here elbow block so again as soon as I walk in the street and somebody throw a punch and I block from here hammer to the face palm strike to the ear to the face grab it and knee with a groin one second, one second. This is not a private session, don't worry. I'm going to do a few times and you're going to practice too. I grab and I name it a groin. Why? Because there's no muscle there. No muscle. He can get hurt even if he's a big guy. And people get nervous, see a big bodybuilder. It doesn't matter because there's no muscle there. By the way, muscles don't fight. A uh, muscular guy? No. But my bones are very strong. You attack if you punch, which you don't punch in the street, but if you punch, you punch with these knuckles. You don't punch with a muscle. You attack with the elbow, you don't attack with the muscle. You attack with the knee, which is a bone, you attack with the shin bone, you attack with any, any part of your body which is bone, you don't attack with muscle, okay? So even if this guy is strong, and you see a muscle, again, there's no muscle here, okay? There's no muscle here, there's no muscle here, and there's no muscle here. And by the way, there's also no muscle at the knee. So if I pop his knee, he can't stand, he can't fight. If I hit him in the throat, he can't breathe, he can't fight. If you name it a groin, ask him to whistle, see what happens after. <laughs> okay. Anybody got any of the balls before? Leave it like this. What happened? How do you feel? Very good, right? <laughs> there is a, a video that uh, some people faced, uh, posted on Facebook about a little Chinese girl in the train with a security camera. That's it, this is the steps coming down, and she was here waiting for the, for the train. She was leaning against the wall. She had some kind of a book and she had her phone on top. She was waiting. A big guy came down, just took the phone and I'll start walking. Okay, be the, the, the here, my phone. Okay. Be the big guy. Hey, what are you doing? This guy turned around and did this to her. What's your problem? Automatically, she just kicked him with the balls. The guy went down, he dropped the phone, she hammered in the head, she pushed it down. Huh? She took the phone, she took a book, and she walked away. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was big, huge, but still, again, no muscle over here, okay? We're not looking to punch the guy in the stomach and all his uh, ab workout, chest. I don't care for, I'm not hitting here. There's no body shots at all. Krav Maga is the style you're gonna learn a little bit right now. It's Israeli military self-defense, origin from the military, and branched out to law enforcement and to civilians. The military Krav Maga goal is to kill. Law enforcement is to restrain, to take down, to handcuff, to take him somewhere, okay? Prevent violence. Civilian is to hurt him enough in order to be able to run away. Two different aspects, okay? So again, if somebody come and punch you, what do we do? What do we do? But not here. Not in this, you get knocked out. I want you to bring your chin down and bring your hand, the elbow forward, like this, all the way up, all the way up. From here, I just send my hand. I go through to his chest, okay? This, but this goes to the face. One, two. Open palm strikes. Never close your fist in a fight. Why? You punch somebody, put your head on, put your head on, bring your head on. You break your wrist. You punch wrong with these knuckles, you break your knuckles, cause a lot of damage. How many times can you punch a concrete wall strong? One time and that's it. <laughs> How many times can you palm strike to the concrete wall? Many more times. You count to 10, maybe 12, maybe 20. Way more than one, right? This is very bad. This is safer for you, and it causes enough damage. It's equal, equal to a punch. It's a strong chest, strong chest. This is very good. Not from far, oh, not from far. Oh, oh, oh. This to some, imagine his face. Imagine he goes to the upper lip area, the teeth, okay? Or the nose. You break his nose, it bleeds, automatically the eyes start tearing, you need to bleed from the outside, from the inside, you break his teeth, cause a lot of damage. Why? From one simple palm strike. And we don't just do one. 
Krav Maga, few uh, basic principles. We do not defend, we attack. How many times? Let's say for example, I, after attack me, let's say I, I block myself, now I attack him. And I attack him. What do I do now? Attack him again, and again, and then what? Knee. Again attack and attack. And then what? Knee. Keep attacking, keep attacking. The knee is also an attack. Maybe the head also. It's all attack. You keep attacking. When do you stop attacking? But the guy is flat and doesn't do anything else. <laughs> you go to the hospital, you see the, the heart go up and down, up and down, right? The monitor. When it's straight, there's the guy, you know, the guy is not in the anymore. anymore. Yeah. Okay? I'm not saying kill the guy. But if he cannot stand up and he cannot, he's flat, that means that you stop. You need to stop attacking and the guy goes down and then you can walk. You don't have to run away, by the way. People have to hit him, run away. For what? Go get a nice cappuccino. <laughs> you like to smoke. Yeah. Relax. Okay? The guy is not going to do nothing for the next, if you did it right, maybe a couple of months in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, by the way, you see there's waivers on the wall? Yeah. There's over here on the wall, over here on the wall. We got to practice now. But you all have to agree there is a camera saying, everybody, are you agreeing to practice with no, and you have no claims, whatever. And if you get injured or die, it's not my responsibility. Raise your hand. <laughs> Very good. If you don't raise your hand, you don't practice, and you keep introducing your butt to the chair. And the rest of you, please rise up and face each other. Pair up, and you're going to do it very slow. Now, when you hit each other, you don't really do this. Don't, don't bam, like, you, like this. Like this. Slowly. Okay? Slowly. Again, the very slow. slowly, okay, like this. So when you hit back with the open hand, a close fist, boom to the face, and then keep going with attacks. One, two, grab into the groin, couple of times, and push away. You do it very slow. Don't kill each other. Agree? Yalla, lahmod. Go. If you don't want to practice, maybe you should move to the next training site. Let's go. Emily, you're going to have a belt over here? Let's go, guys. Pair up, get it, face each other. Face each other this way, guys. Face each other this way. Go over there, face each other. Guys, don't kill each other, please. Let's go. Put your phone in your pocket so it won't hurt anymore. Don't break it. I really want to learn how to like this. How to like this. How to like this. Take a glass. I was taught not to hit anybody. Yeah, you know? Because you don't see anything, it's just blocked. You can practice that. But, but he's saying you have to acknowledge and like that they'll back off, and that's very contrary to what I learned. So like just having that kind of presence to teach them um, before like, so let's start with that thing. Sorry, so. Right now, so, you gonna practice? Yeah. 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 Keep your hand up. Ready, Ready. Ready to roll. Don't move. Okay. Right. So the first thing he taught was uh, to let the oh I can let the um, what, criminal know that you are the attacker. But know, know that you you're cognizant, like you're not. So you're not like yeah. you know, it's not hiding. The awareness. Be alert. The awareness. Yeah, you're aware. So if somebody's walking around, go ahead and pass. I'm gonna be standing here like we're gonna stand out. Oh, wow. we, we get ready, we get ready. Yeah. Like walk, 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 start off, start off with it. How you doing? Like I was getting ready. I got I saw the darts coming at me. Yeah. Well the person we just Look at them, and I want then to ask you we something. decide not to attack. We're not allowed to watch with the caretaker. Some of the sit out and watch with the caretaker. Huh? We can help you, but actually, you were here. Were you here for it? Yeah. 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 Y
bad guys. We're gonna stare her down, and then she's gonna change her mind. Okay. We're gonna change our mind. Hi, good morning. Hi. Okay. You see that? <laughs> Like we're staring her down like she's gonna but she's gonna pay attention to us and then we're gonna change our mind about attacking her okay Than doing nothing. I mean, if you walk around like yeah, this, if you walk like, like that, they're gonna snatch your bag. Kind of like high, and like that I'm they're not situationally aware. So I need to practice on like having more self confidence, like also using my voice to tell them to back off. Exactly. Like, that's like, like for me, it's big. But you say back off without saying back off. Yeah. Or hey, how you doing? Hi. Hi. You know, but then you're like, like more strong. Hi. That's, that's what I Like she's supposed to be afraid. Work like that. And then like if they do like try up my person like like then you uh, that's that's a, that's different. That's different. When he said to do this and this and this, yeah. that was for the sucker punch game. There's a game that the kids were doing, like the teenagers. They would just they call it the knockout game. They would just come and try to knock out somebody that's not paying attention. But uh, but even if you're able to do this, that means that you were alert. I'd like to know how you put up your your elbow. Okay. Okay. So like, oh, it's, cool. like, <laughs> it's like he says, act like okay, you're doing so your hair, like, level like you're your back, you know. Yeah, and then it's like this, and then it's this close, right there, and then tuck it, tuck it in your chin. So this way, now if I went to hit you, I wouldn't get your face, I wouldn't get your ear, I would got this. Yeah. And then you kind of tense up a little. Okay, you try like I'm gonna do the pad. Right, and then once you do that, like I tell you, then after you block it, then you take your arm, hammer punch. You know? So do the same arm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah hammer punch. Sure Close to this. It's like this. You're saying it goes from this to this. Right. Yeah, this would be with your this with your clothes. Yeah. 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 It's called a hammer punch. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like you. Hi. Very like well, your hand is open when it's here. Oh, it's open here. Okay. Then when you after you block, you press it. But they only got this. Then you can it. Then you can move it sideways. Then you move it. The other hand. When you go to the other hand, you move. You go. Wow. You're saying, when you go through the other, I take this off, okay, and then I'm, and then like, 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 but you do it hard, you gotta get mad, you gotta get mad, because I thought, I understood you to say, just move, look, look at my hand, look at my hand, right here, back to your seat, please, back to your seat, back to your seat, it's good, it's good, but I thought you said, don't use a punch, just open your hand, yeah, but I'm not punching like this, I'm punching like this, this, this part of making contact is different. Okay, because I didn't say that you do it with an open hand. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You'll get it. Wait, wait a second. By the way, by the way, I don't know if you know, but since January 2020, a lot of laws changed in New York. Okay? There's no bail. Needed no unless bail. it's certain to be bail, no bail. Oh, yeah. You go to jail, you see the judge the next morning, Allah ma'ak, and you go. <laughs> yeah. Have a nice day, and you go. That's why the officers right now don't even try to arrest anyone. Right. Yeah. They give you a desk appearance ticket, you come to the precinct, they give you a summon, and goodbye. Why waste time? Anyway, the next day you go out. There was a guy around the bank, or some store, I don't know what it was. They called him. He, he hid all the money, they caught him. He saw the judge in the morning, they sent him out. 
He robbed it the same day, he robbed another one. <laughs> and then they caught him again and he went out three times. Oh, boy. Wow. In the meantime, he put all money inside. He opened like a <laughs> safe, a saving account. <laughs> with money. Okay. And there's a lot of, I don't want to use bad words, but a lot of crap is going on with the, yeah. this government. But anyway, well, let's not involve politics. You know what this is? What is this? Switchblade. It's not switchblade. Switchblade, if you press a button and it comes out, it's not switchblade. What is this? Pocket knife. Pocket knife? Gravity knife. Oh. Gravity knife. Gravity knife. Yeah. That's worse than a switchblade, right? This is legal now. What? That's legal. This is legal in New York now. Why? About eight months ago, it became legal. It was illegal, but now it's legal. Why is it legal? Anybody can give me an answer? Self-protection. Really? Okay. Should have been. Should have been, yes. You carry a gun. Okay. To cut, to Why is it legal now? To cut apples. And the government wants to reduce the crime rate <laughs> of New York. So in order to reduce the crime rate, you turn whatever it was illegal to become legal. So now there's oh. less crime because oh, yeah, it's, yeah, not yeah. Bad, it's not illegal anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's insane. Yes, but no, that, that's, that's, that's not me. That's your government. That's statistics. <laughs> reduce statistics of yeah. crime. So now instead of... Having this illegal, you can carry it and it's legal, so the police are not going to arrest So it's no crimes are down. More people consider. have it, but it's not against the law. Yes. Now, what, is, what also is legal, and always been legal, any knife that is concealed, and the blade, the blade, it has to be less than four and a half inch. People think it's the fist, not the fist, because everybody fits different. It has to be less than four and a half inch. This is four and a half inch. If it's less than four and a half inch, and it's concealed, it's legal to carry. Wow. Well. Legal to carry. Always. For safe, for safety, for self-defense, and I all I recommend everybody, especially men, Yom Chol, Shabbat, makes no different when. I always carry with me on the belt. You see my belt? You like my belt? Oh, it's a buckle. It's a knife. Oh. I use it to cut clementine, oranges when people ask me, but also it's good for self-defense in case something happens. And it's good to operate. It's right here, and it comes in any sizes. Okay, we will sell them to so you guys interested. It's fifty dollars. Tell me, I can advance. I can order for you. That's legal. Can you get it to your house? No. Because some companies don't send it to New York if it's a knife. Pepper spray is legal. It is? Pepper spray is legal. Mace is illegal. Uh. Some cops don't know to tell the difference. They think it's illegal, so they take it from you. But it's not. It's not true. Pepper spray is legal. Mace is illegal. Okay? So, you know. What other things can you can use for self-defense? An alarm. The what? Uh, sound alarm. Alarm? Yeah, like the, the advertising that you press a button and it makes a very terrible noise. Okay, but you also can become deaf. <laughs> so that what? That's true. That what? What is the difference? The remote controls. The, the chemical inside. The remote huh? controls from the car, we have a panic alarm. Panic alarm? Yes. She said that, panic alarm. But then she said it makes too much noise, you also become deaf. Okay? Your keys? Keys? Sure. 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 Keys? Between your, your fingers, like a... I've seen this happen. Like like you're saying this, right? Like this? Like, yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you, how long would it take you to prepare this? When something happened? Too much time. Too much time. No, oh, one second. Plus it hurts. One second. But if you hit like this, also you're going to hurt your own fingers. Yeah. Easy. Go like this. Okay? Now what? This. Either you use this, or you can hold it from here, and then use this. Wow. Attack with this. There's no injury, nothing happens to your hand. Okay? Perfect. Don't put it in between the fingers over here. I see people explaining this. And then you punch and you hurt your fingers. Okay? Like a hammer strike. It's difficult to do. You grab this key, then boom, attack. From the bottom, boom. Maybe to his groin. Maybe to his neck. Maybe to his eyes. Maybe to his ear. In different, different places. All you have to do is create a hole in his body. Very painful. Okay? Keys. Could be any keys. It has to be this uh, Rav Bariyach, Israel, Mutilak. Okay? 
can be also this. Padlock can be also. Anything that can create cause of all. Okay? Thank you. Nice pen, right? Cheap. You buy it 12, a pack of 12 for 99 cents. You can kill 12 people. Each one can be killed, you can use for, to kill for one more person. This, again, same principle, hammer. You hold the hammer, you attack. Into his eyes, into his chest. Okay? You hold like this, same thing. By the way, you can hit with both sides. Okay, if you hold a pencil, like this, even if it's here, or even if it's close, makes no difference. It can still cause enough damage from both sides. Okay? Now, pencil, a pen. Like my hat? Yeah. Something happened. I don't know where. I reach and I have a person. Oh my gosh. Oh. What, what happened? I can punch him. Oh. I can attack him. Where'd you get it? Where was it? In the brim. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's a knife? What is it? It's a knife. It's plastic legal breast knife. Legal what? Legal breast knife. Brass knuckles. Brass knuckles. Uh, oh, wow. The illegal ones covering your fingers. Yeah. And the metal, metal or even plastic is illegal. Wow. This one, you can reach, you see my thumb? My, my, uh, see my finger? My thumb? Ooh. And you have it like this. Because it's not closed over here, it's open, it's legal. It's plastic, it's not metal. You can always tell the if they've arrested you. Yeah, I use it to open a can or something. Yeah, or, um, a, beer, a beer bottle opener. But still, it's legal. Even ask a question, you think it's, if they don't for a fact, it's used for self defense, it's 100% illegal. You can go on the airplane with it. Really? Yeah, it's plastic. Metal detectors don't. don't right. will not write a. Uh, they always say take off your hat. Huh? They always say take off your hat. So they put your hat in the bag, let the bag go down the x ray, and then you put the hat on, on you. But this plastic. can go inside, right? Plastic. Wow. If anybody wants, we got two left of this. There's also the. Same price as the same price as the book. You didn't say what the price is. Yeah. Cheap. Okay. All right. Next. Same. Knife attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Allah wa akbar. Mm -hmm. Happens a lot. Most of it is like, happened uh, in Monsi a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. A teacher of the rabbi. Next door to the synagogue. And a teacher and the guy went in with machete. Machete is just another one, but a little longer. And you can like this. A knife, you go like this. You can also come like this, which is the same thing. How do we defend against this? And by the way, Krav Maga is the only Israeli self-defense system, the only system that evolves with the time, and changes, and modifies. Other styles, they stay the same thing all, all their life. I'm a 50-degree black belt in karate. And I'm 40-degree black in Krav Maga. Karate, Stay the same, nothing changes. Same kata, over and over again, nothing changes. All the other, everything the same thing. Krav Maga changes, why? The bad guys change. They find better solution for themselves to hurt people. We have to find a better solution to defend against those bad guys. Yeah. First Intifada, 1987. Okay? <coughs> My father was a police officer in East Jerusalem back then. He used to tell me that before the Intifada started, when the Arabs saw the Israelis, they would go the out of the street, they were afraid. Why? They felt that it's very superior, right? Six day war, Yom Kippur war, let's say the one. Okay? People used to see the Israelis, they go outside, outside of the street. They were afraid. What happened later with the uprising, rebellion of the Palestinians, called the first Intifada, there are two, three by the way. People don't say that the third one started about five, six years ago, but that's the three. The first one, they used to take the old bag of rice, sack, empty the sack, put pebbles, small stones inside, and practice this movement, movement over and over again. This, so the, the arm became like a rock. So the old Kamaga defend 90 degree block, did not stop, the one 90 degree, did not stop it, the knife went in. Why? Because there is no support over here. The support is only over here. So if you stop over here, maybe. But this end up, a lot of police officers end up with knife in their hand. They die, first in the front. The early 90s, Kamaga were modified. We changed from 90 to 120, so 120 degrees, the knife just slides down. Why? Because of momentum. Ah, it's an angle. Don't do that, because it's still wrong. We changed that after. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> About 
six years ago. The turning Palestine, all the stabbing in Israel. But they became lazy. They don't attack the head anymore. They don't attack the head anymore. Now they go to your chest and go to your throat. Neck, throat, or chest. So if you do the black, 120 degrees black, oh, you end up dead. So black is useless. Okay? Where is the best place for, to, for me to be when somebody threatens me with a knife? Close to him or away from him? <laughs> Far away? They attack me? I keep running, I keep trying to chase me. Then what? If you run faster, you're dead. In Kram Maga, one of the keys is never to go back. We always go forward. That's also in life. Aim forward, don't go back. But if I go forward, I'm going to get stabbed in my hands and my throat. Okay? It's a knife. The only option I have is attack, is to go to the side. Okay? Right. Knife comes in, I'm moving out of the way of a line attack. Hmm. But I'm not just going and just kill me. Okay? What do we do with our hands? We said that natural response, somebody throw a ball to your face, you pick up your hands. Right? So from here, I pick up my hands and I continue and take them down the road. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From here, I go out of the way, my hands go up. Okay? I help him continue the motion and I shock him with a hammer. From here, I don't stick him down. If I'm not a security or not, I don't know what to do after, I knee him in the groin a couple of times, maybe knee him in the face, push him away, and walk away. Run away, do whatever you want after. Okay? So again, from here, I go out of the way. My lead leg moves out of the way. Don't do this. You can stuck, you can move out. <laughs> if I move this, the left leg, the right leg move the same distance. Both hands are up. So from here, my hands go up. I'm scared. I bring my hands down and move in, into him. Because if I stay here, he can still come back with the knife and slash my throat. Okay? So I keep moving towards him. One, moving in towards him and lock. So okay? Lock. Move forward towards him. Even why my shirt if I if I can. After the shot, name it a boy if I can with I go with a full kick to the ball. From here, name in the face. Okay? And goodbye. Everybody understood? Do you understand? Yes, no? Maybe? Don't do it fast, but Oh, we don't have to. Is it this technique you're asking about? This technique. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Oh Wait for what? <laughs> you didn't feel it? <laughs> That's why because it's soft. <laughs> no, give me something. Uh, okay. You're not holding me. Yes. We hold the knife. We hold the knife. The blade has to be aligned with the knuckles. Why? Blade with the knuckles. Aligned with the knuckles. Let's say I stab, no, I stab, but if I hold it the other way, when I come back, there's no slash. Okay? So I make sure that the blade aligns with that, so when I come back, I slash. Same thing, under attack, come up with a slash. Over attack, come up with a stab, come up with a slash. What's okay, the one, one problem that might be appearing over here. Appearing, yeah. You see? No, no, because I, I want to be gentle yeah, with you. Okay. No, I want to be gentle with you. I want, if I want to be aggressive, I be aggressive. If, I, if a knife comes, I understand. Comes, I understand. But uh, <laughs> yeah. a knife comes to me, you're dead. No, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> if you attack with a knife, you're dead. You're dead. Not injured. Not semi. Dead. That is a good for me. That is a good for me. You attack me, I go full force. You are. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, I'm going to show you. I'm not. I'm going to show you. What I, what I want. I want the people see something that I want to try. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's going around this way. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. You're going to do it so fast. No, no. Look. Why do? This, if I pull the knife this way. Then come this way. That's right. They come this way. No. You you would change this in the middle? No, no, no. Okay. Look. You told me. You see. You see. I just hit. Yeah, I want easy way. What hurt? I just sl slash you on the leg. I go hard. Come, 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 come. come, come. I go hard. No, because I'm going slow. You you, you change your, the, your technique. I'm gonna go hard because you go hard. Come. Is it? I slashed you, right? Oh, oh. I slashed you, right? You feel this? Give me, give me. That's my point. Shh. This is bad. This you'll survive. I understand, but you survive. So Priorities. So what? Every time there is a knife defense, you will get cut. Probably is here or here. Oh, that's the first one. Salamat. Hi. Oh.
You will get cut, but I, I was still easy on you because it's me. I understand that. I understand. I understand. Do much work, I'm So I got cut a little bit. Especially if it's. Sit down. 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 Pause and finish. Do I understand? When you train the police or the military for so many years, then you can talk. Until then. Nothing you're gonna say, gonna change what we do. I answered you. Until Priority, you get slashed, not, not a big deal. You die here, big problem. Everybody up, let's go, Pera. He says Pera. Jen. Grab a knife, let's go. Oh, this one's a sharp one. Who needs a knife? I know, you're right, but... Well... Let's go, let's go. Heads up. Attack slow, attack slow! Attack slow! So let me get You can attack me, and then I'll show... Okay, I'll show... Slowly. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, that takes a while to learn. That's oh, why. So this is kind of an advanced thing for somebody. You do it to me and I'll show you. Come, come with the knife like that. See this? Okay. I'm, uh, I'm trying to I'm hitting you right there. Right. But you didn't need me in the groin. But, but I'm going to hit you first. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Chose the wrong one. <laughs> okay. That would be the need in the groin. So you put your hands Mm -hmm. This first. You do the yeah, side first. block. You get on the side, it seems. You get on the side. Come on. Um, I'm going to come to you. You, you oh, want to try it? Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try. okay. Get on the side. Oh, no. I'm not coming. Yeah, I'm coming you at you. I'm coming at you. When, from where you are, you come to me. You're going to step this way. Okay. Go like that. Uh, practice that. From where I'm coming to you. Okay. Step that way. Both hands. Oh. Both hands up. You come down. Come down. Oh. Remember, don't leave your foot over there. Oh, right, right, right. Calm down. And then do the groin thing? Hit me in the face with the other hand while you got this here. Hammer fist. Oh. Hammer fist. Wow. Then grab here. How do you get rid of the side? Well, maybe if you hit me in the face hard enough, I might have gotten shocked and I might have just dropped. Then from here, okay, hit in the face. You're going to hold me like this. And knee. Oh, okay. Knee. Boom. You got knee. Okay, this is your first time knee. You got to See, this is the way the knee goes. Hold your arm. That's a strike as well. When you grab somebody like that, you hit them in the collarbone with this part. That, that's excruciating pain. You hit them. I'm not going to hit you like that. You feel it a little bit. Better. Yeah, yeah, more balanced already. But I mean, that, that's a strike. If I hit you, it hits you in your chest and collarbone. That would hurt. And then you go with the knee. See, when she bends over like that, then I can grab when you bend over. Uh oh, this, this is gonna hurt. Okay, yeah. <laughs> see, you like that. Okay. okay, by then, by the time you do all that, you don't try to get the knife out of his hand. Yeah, they'll just they'll drop, they'll, 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 drop, they'll, drop, they'll be like, you know, like they'll drop the knife if they get the key. Yeah. You know what, this stuff that he's showing you. To me, it's a, it's a, it, it works, but it's a little bit advanced. Like, you can see it on the first You're not going to read it here because he showed it to you. He's just going to get up there and do it. If you probably if you came to class and did it 50th time, you're not going to just do it right now. There's something you could do. Of course! Like, 
of sneakers. Because it's not really, it's not karate and it's not martial arts. It's really not. So that's why they said self defense. Oh yeah. I mean, she just get hurt. You can you can knee a woman here on the side of the thigh. My left foot is really random to that. It's excruciating pain. Or to throw them off, or to put like that. Oh, yeah. Or you could just go straight for the knee. Well, well, shins are bad. Shins are bad. Shins are really bad. Well, in his class, I just started in December. But I've had other, I've had other training prior, prior to Abby's class. So Three years, five years, but that was years ago. What you go with? Oh, how long do I go now? How, like, how often do I go now? No, that's her question. <laughs> well, yeah, about three times a week. Three times a week. Yeah, about three times Okay, so who wants to try? I want to try. You are very good. Thank Great. you. You two want to try it together or you want me to? Okay, well, first of all, the do it. Okay, so. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm like this. I'm like this. I'm too scared. This is not the one where you say hi because we're standing around our group. Okay. Wait. Stand a minute. Almost. All right, stop. Almost. Bring the knife back, please. Go ahead and sit. Oh, nice. Sorry, you know, next time, yeah, if he comes up with something else, we'll I know it's confusing all the time. I don't want to go next time or something. That was good. You did it with one hand, do it with both hands. Okay. Yeah, my concern. Okay, another thing, pay attention. Again, every time there's going to be a knife involved, you will get cut no matter what. The only thing is that you have to worry about priority. This, this, okay? You get cut in the arm, the other leg, you'll survive. You go after the rest of some stitches. But you, the only problem is that after you get stuck once and you don't do nothing, the second one will come and the third and then you're out. By the way, even if you get stabbed once over here, once, you will survive. You will survive. What? You'll survive. The only problem that's going to happen is when sure. this comes out and the next one goes in. Let's say the guy came from behind. Okay? And he stabbed me once. He stabbed me. What do you do? What do you do? You got stabbed once, you shot. But you turn around and you face it and you want to prevent the next one. Why? Oh, I don't know. Probably. I got to go. I got. I have to go. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's a shoe, no form. You get stabbed in the back, automatically you turn around, you will survive the stab. Hmm. You want to prevent the next ones. Why? This may be very, very dangerous, but the next one can be much more dangerous. A few stabs, you're out. Okay. This is just going to demonstrate. We're not going to practice. Anybody know what this looks like? That's a gun. Which one? That's a gun. It looks like a gun. Which gun? Here we go. Glock. This exact same replica of Glock 19. Same okay. replica of Glock 19. This is Glock 19. Oh shit. Okay. Same same uh, way it looks. Now, what do we do against a gun? By the way, this is just introduction for you guys to understand. There is a few things that you can do. There's not a class that you will, but that I I expect for you to be able to find yourself in the streets. It's not gonna happen. Okay? From one to to class, nothing happens. Problem starts if you don't do, if you don't follow up and come to classes. Okay? Don't put your fingers. Okay. What do we do over here? No. Huh? Okay. First solution. Okay? First solution. Huh? That in. What? That one. Again, you can duck. So you duck, then what? You pull it down, boom, shoot you. A better solution. That was bad. I think this is a little bit better solution. A lot better. You have to be quick. Hands up. Hands down the gun. Clear first. 
You clear for you. Don't want to be a lion fire. Number one. We have four principles and got this on clear, control, attack, disarm. Clear, control, attack, disarm. Over here, I clear. Okay. What happened when I grab the barrel? What happens when you pull the trigger? Then what? What happens now? Huh? What happened? What is the status of the gun right now? Hot? I don't care about the heat. The spring is stuck. No. When you grab the barrel, okay, on the slide, and the guy pulled the trigger, the first round went out. The next thing, the second round did not chamber. Why? Because the slide did not go back and forth, did not load, did not feed the next round. Okay? So once you did this and you grab, and the first round went out, the shell is still stuck inside. There's an empty shell inside, so the gun is jammed. Oh, okay. that's only that type of gun. Any semi automatic handgun. Okay. Any seven hand. Glock, Glock, hold the gun. Glock, if you hold the slide back five millimeter, even if it's, it's chambered, it's not gonna shoot. Glock is one of the only guns that will not shoot even if it's chambered. Okay? That's why, because that has no safety on the outside. It has a built-in safety mechanism inside, that's why it has double trigger. So once you hold the barrel back, back a little bit, even if it's loaded, pull the trigger, nothing gonna happen. Okay? Right. So again, going back to the technique. As soon as I reach for the gun, what is he going to do? Shoot. He pulls back. Oh. When somebody pulls back, he closes four fingers pulling back. So even this finger is going to close. That means he's going to shoot. Okay? A bullet will come out. So I need to make sure that I move out. I need to control his hand. Why? Because he's going to pull back, pull back, pull back. If I'm just going to do one, pull back, I get shot over here now. Okay? So I need to make sure I clear and control. He even pulls back, I go with him. I have more control over him. Let's say he was stronger than me. Put the finger inside for a second. From here, after I step on his, on his leg, I maybe headbutt, whatever I, if I can kick, kick. From here, I turn the gun towards him. Now, turning the gun towards him, I have better grip, better leverage. His finger will jam, maybe broken. Now, I go back, rock Why? because there was an empty shell inside to fit, fit the gun with a, uh, with a round. Now, in case he runs towards me, say goodbye. <laughs> if he didn't run towards me, if he didn't run towards me, and then, on the ground, lay down! And he cooperates, you don't squeeze the trigger. You do that, it's gonna be first degree murder. This is gonna end up in jail for 25 years minimum, depends on the state. And in some states, you're gonna be an electric, electric chair or some injection, like injection, oh, problems, okay? So again, from here, clear by moving the head and moving the gun. This is not enough because there's a chance of getting shot. Both, okay? And control and take the gun out, rock, move back, and ready to shoot. This is New York, right? Mm -hmm. yep. People can come like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you do against open fingers? What do you do over here? Up and down. Rock, right to shoot. Okay. Put the fingers up. Slow, slow. From here, up. Slow. I'm controlling. I did so. This was slow. Okay. <laughs> up, controlling the hand, controlling the gun. He's gonna pull back, right? So you go with him. And now you see the finger inside. Once I point, see, he shot himself. Broken finger. I move back. And I'm ready to shoot. Yes? You said speed, control, clear. What's the attack this arm. Clear, control, attack. This is speed. Clear, control, attack this arm. Yeah. Obviously, everything has to be done fast. Okay? Again. Figure out. Gangster, gangster. New York. Up, down, move back, rock, ready to shoot. Okay? Behind. I walk in the street, and some guy, what happened? You need, you need something? Okay, my turn. Yeah. If I was able to turn, I turn. What if I cannot turn? It grabs me, turn, don't turn. Go forward. What happened? From here, boom, just face it to the bolt, break the finger, take the gun out, rock, break the shoot. Yeah, sure, that's easy. <laughs> there is a lot of what if. A lot of what if. What is, don't move. Let's say it's on the side. Or you take one from the ATM. Give me, give me. Take one from the ATM. Everything, yeah. Oh, from here. Or from here. Or you sit in the chair. Chair, chair, okay. You're in the, in the train, no problem. And the guy, hey, give me money. Go to the train. What do you do? How do you do it from sitting down? Thank you. What? Go on your knee. And behind your back. Behind your head. Sorry. Right Last wishes. There's a lot of what if. Each what if has a solution. Okay? The only thing is that you have to practice many, many, many. Time 
And by the way, one Krav Maga, the only Krav style to get your black belt, for example, the test is two days. First day, six to seven hours. The next day, you do multiple attackers, sparring, simulations, different scenarios, plus you go and do two to three hours shooting with the tactical, tactical shooting classes. One thing we do over here, by the way, in case anybody wants to go do shooting classes, we go to New Jersey, we do tactical shooting classes with movement, with kneeling, standing, laying down, changing magazine, under pressure. There's a lot of things to do, and it's six hours in the range. It's a whole day. We go one Sunday, we leave from Queens around 8.30, <coughs> 10 o'clock we start until 4 o'clock, 5.30 you're already home. After a whole day of very, very intense workout. Okay, you gotta learn how to deal with this. Next one, by the way, is April 5th, if you guys are interested. It's my birthday. Huh? It's my birthday. April 5th? Good, so come May 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> what a birthday present. <laughs> well, tell someone, hey, you should treat yourself. Yeah. Your birthday, come to shooting. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, regarding the active shooter drill. Somebody walk into the shul. I know you guys watched the video of the shooting in New Zealand. You saw the New Zealand shooting? No? It was all over the... The guy had GoPro camera on his chest. I didn't watch. And he was walking. Oh, yeah. He parked his car by the, 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 the driveway. He walked through the, through the fence, fully geared, with a rifle, 30 rounds each magazine. And he was walking, it was like a video game. You guys know the Fortnite game the kids play? Right? Mm -hmm. Same exact thing. Walk, boom, boom. And boom, next. Sorry. Boom. That's how he shot people. On the way to the mosque. And then inside the mosque, killed 50, injured 50. <coughs> was it two mosques, if I'm not mistaken? What people could have done? A lot. Again, what I told you before, originally the first the goal of the year of this event is to make sure that each synagogue is going to have between 12 or 10 to 25 people, volunteers, to deal with each terror attack or any attack can happen in the, in the shul. You have an event like this today, let's say, for example, and you want your the synagogue to have its own security. And so paying a company tons of money and get somebody to stand at the front, or sometimes they're not even going to do much because they're not fully trained. They're just Some of them are just former cops. And they have a gun because they can, because they uh, they work as a cop, and they can carry the guns anywhere in this, any, any any place in the United States right now. Before it used to be only your state. Now it's everywhere. It's open borders. So that's what we do. Sit over there. Something happened. Maybe pull the gun. Maybe not. Maybe. But people from your synagogue, what's called you have what's called mesilut nefesh. You will try to save people's life. Why? Because you care more than the security guard. I'm not saying that they're not good. Maybe here they're good, but how much would they be able to do? <coughs> Hello? NYPD cops, for example, they go to, used to go to six months training, now they go to seven months training. They come to me to learn. I have cadets that come to my school to practice Krav Maga. They send them from over there to my school. From college one to my school to learn Krav Maga. Every couple months I do a special class for, for cops. Three weeks training for police officers. Why they come? Is the training is not enough for them over there? Oh, because what they do over there, it's not enough for the streets. Every instructor over there teaches their, the officers based on his own previous experience. There is no set curriculum. There is no what do you do in this case, what do you do in this case, what do you do when this happened or what this happened. When we train a security uh, team from the shul, from the synagogue, each one knows exactly what to do in each scenario. It's four to six sessions of an hour and a half to two hours each. And then after that, after this, this uh, sessions, we do simulation in the synagogue. When, I don't know you guys watched the, so the news, but the, the I-24 news did the whole coverage about what we do. Half an hour special about what I do. Uh, uh, Pix11, they came and did a, we did an event in the Q Garden Hill, in Q Gardens. They came also to the cover and they show exactly what to do in each, each scenario. There is a lot to do, but we need to have people that will commit. That will commit to come to the training and will commit to protect the, for the community, even with their life on the line. Okay? So again, once this guy was walking, okay, let's say there is a door over here. Put this over here. Bring that on. What? Let's say the shooting, the shooting, just happened in New Zealand. Go back. He was shooting people. 
So they heard the shot. There was no silence on the rifle. Okay? What the people from here should have been done? Should have been uh, doing? Let's say you hear the shots. You don't run away over there, and then when he comes, he kills more people. Okay? When he comes, you need to run, make sure that there's on the entrance. As soon as you walk in from here, attack, grab, hit them with a gun into the face, move back, hold the gun. In the middle, in the middle, in the meantime, other shield members, the security members, we better to control him, take him down, restrain him, zip tie his arm. Why? Maybe he wear explosives, maybe a suicide vest, okay? Maybe as grenades, maybe as different things can happen. So the security training we do for the synagogue is going to involve also active shooter training. So I expect from each one of you when you go home today, you go to your community leaders, you expect that there is a training that I think should have in our shul as well. Okay? And I think personally it's mandatory. Why? You guys know Rabbi Yaakov again? Huh? Yeah. Rabbi Yaakov son? I told him about what I do. He said, I think it's Allah. Well, I said, the Rambam says that the, uh, a father must teach his son to swim. Yes. Allah, okay. mandatory. A father has to teach his son to swim. Why? Because if something happened, or if it's somebody else that needs help, you need to be able to go and save them. Okay? Why? Because back then it was common to travel on boats and different places. Now, and he said that also in the same Allah, if the father cannot do that, you should hire somebody else to do it. Today, unfortunately, swimming, I don't see a lot of people dying, but from getting hurt in the streets, or in the synagogues, or in even mosques and uh, churches, recently in Texas and other places, people die. People need to learn self-defense. And it's equivalent to our time right now. The swimming back then, it's equal to learning self-defense in our generation. Why? Because it's happening all the time, everywhere. Statistics says that every second person get attacked or mobbed in New York. Every second person. Mm. You want to be one of the two? Yeah. There's a chance, uh, chance that one of you going to get mobbed with a weapon, without a weapon, get hit in the face, get knocked out. There's a lot of Hasidic Jews that you see on different videos that get punched or a taxi driver that stops next to them and just get, get out and start hitting them. Indian guy or Pakistani, Pakistani guy, whatever the, the guy was, just randomly Take a victim, go after them, and hit them. Yeah, that was crazy. It happens all the time. It happens in Williamsburg, Crown Heights, Boar Park. It happened, the knuckles, by the way, happened over here in uh, Queens. It happened in, by the, in the close to the library, like to Keller Torah Shul, and it also happened next to Amazing Savings over here. So it happens all the time. Mandatory to have your kids, your grandkids, your family members, even yourself, to learn self defense. I'm not saying that. If you know it, that's guaranteed. But it's better chances of being able to survive after something happened. Okay, so let's do one more time. The Again, you hear the shots. There's no silence on the rifle, right? Automatically, we run over here to the door. We stay low. Why do we stay low? Because if I'm going to stay here, standing out, even behind the door, behind the wall, and it's not bulletproof, he can shoot from there, I'm going to end up with the bullet from there. Let's see, shoot from here, I get a shot. He's holding the gun at this height, so anything, anything above this, I'm fine. Under this, I'm fine. So as soon as he comes in from here, I need to move forward, control the weapon, and hit the ear. What do you say happens to him when he hit the ear? I'm not going like uh, playing this. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's full. Remember the, the, the strike I hit on the chest before? That was, night, uh, that was light. I have the whole body moving forward, attacking him, grab the butt of the gun. Bring the gun into his face, maybe the barrel into his face, he get hit from here. It's all by myself and I see, I know for a fact he has exposed, I see wires coming out, goodbye. If I don't know how to operate the gun, I hold it up. And my friends, my security team, the volunteers, will come and take him down. How do we take him down? <clears throat> Just a second. No. Come on. Come on. Okay, after somebody already took the rifle face there. Okay? From behind. Grab the eyes, turn around. Hit it, hit it, hit it. One on top of the other. And sit up. Sit on. Oh my god. From here. Oh, give me a hand, give me a hand. We zip tie him. We search him. Make sure he has no body, no explosives, no bubbles or nothing. Maybe a weapon, maybe a knife, maybe a grenade, maybe whatever he has. You clear him. After he's 100 percent clear, no for a fact. Somebody else in the middle, in the time call the police. You gotta help him up sideways. After searching, make sure he has nothing. Come to my side. 
Okay, you come from here. Okay, grab over here. Minamata. Okay, let's go out. If you resist from here, all you need to do right now, come back so you can see also here. If you resist from here, all you need to do is bring your shoulder down into him. Okay, shoulder down into him. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Understood? Now, we're not going to practice this, but there is a lot of what to do in different cases. Any questions? No questions. You. Um, <clears throat> That's the real one. Say thank you to that one. One second, about a year ago, Abi Fold in the Gush, he made conversation with this um, Muslim person, young person, and he turned around and he got killed by being stabbed in the back and losing a lot of blood. He needs that. He needs that you're talking about? Yeah. Abi. Yeah. Abi Fold. Abi. How could he have prevented that? Again, after he got stabbed, he was still fighting back. Yeah. Okay? Did he get stabbed once or twice? A few times. Few times. Yeah, that's yeah. As I said before, after one time, you can survive. Second time, he was armed also, by the way. Yeah. He was armed. Yeah. So there are a lot of things that have been done before. Awareness. Okay, you hear Allah Wad, but automatically you pull the weapon. Don't, he, plus he's armed. You draw the weapon, you're ready, and you shoot. There's no, no gain to this. Like. Yes. Lately, uh, they've been using cars as weapons, going yeah. into crowds. Yeah. Not but lately. It's, it's been already uh, for a couple of years. Attacks or whatever. Yeah. What do you do then? The, what do you do then? You get out of the way. I'm not a magician. <laughs> I'm not a magician. When I had the threat in front of me, I can deal with it. If somebody runs towards me, you run. You roll. You do something. Let's say you have the, you have the car. Put the gun. Put the gun. Let's see the car running towards me. Let's say it's car. Right. Only after I have it, try to run away. Either I run away. Run, run, run. I can either Whoa. escape. Oh escape. There's all things you can do. Or if it's a logo, not a truck, you can maybe jump, you can not jump over, okay? but at least don't get hit here, don't get hit here, there's no recovery. If you get hit over here a little bit, it's okay. One second, she also had a question. Yes. Um, what if there is more than one active shooter and the other one comes running down the aisle, it's in the women's section? Okay, what can so the that, women that's do? What, we have also what can women. the women do to protect themselves? As I said, we have also women in the training, men and women. I said at the beginning. Everybody must train. When you have the civilian group, you have the men and the women. Not just men only. I said, what if they come to the women? Don't count on the men to save you. So women also have to but be... But what is the best position to go into to protect yourself? I just explained. I just explained. I mean, if you're not the one... If you're not the one, you lay, down the, on the, you lay down on the ground flat. You lay down on the ground. Okay? Simple to do. You go on your knees, you put your hands down, and that's it. Wait for the finish for the third. Just right. Yes. Oh, so there was this girl who was in the university, and she went to the park and was attacked by three people and had multiple knife wounds and whatever. Columbus. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, how would a person handle multiple? All three came in with the same knife at the same time. I don't know. One held her. One held her. Okay. Let me let you to the shoe over here. All right. How was the? He threatened her with the knife. Yeah, I guess like I I. I don't Against the wall in space, what? In the park at night, and uh, it was multiple knife people. Mm. And what do we do over here? Put the knife away. Thank you, So I can do it. This? That's it? Yeah. God, my God, we attack at the same time with defense. Same time. We don't do one, two. Obviously, we don't move this way. <laughs> <laughs> the only option I have is out, okay? But out with a strike and then into the drawing. Be very fast. Okay. But if somebody was holding her, somebody holding her what? Holding her so she can't move, and then okay. the other guy came at her with the knife. There's a lot of what if. There's multiple attackers, different scenarios. Everything again has a solution. Okay. Even before that, if somebody comes to her and he grabs her, grab from behind. Let's say grab. And then this guy come. Let's say he's coming. I thought that. Come, really. Grab me. Is he, is he gone? I, you have a Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hit him a little bit because he's in the ground. Now I can def defend against this guy. Okay, there's a lot. It's not going to happen on the second that both of you come at the same time. Grab. Okay, that's not going to happen. Something always going to happen before. Okay? He grabs me. He, no, very hard, very hard. He grabs me now. Maybe the guy will come with a knife. Right? Yeah. Yes. You were demonstrating with a semi automatic? Yeah. What? 
Revolver? Yeah. You grab the drum. Next. Where do you buy pepper spray? Actually, sold the last one today. Yeah. Today. I ordered like 20 something of them. Last, we did, we did the same event in, uh, in uh, Young Israel. And people, a lot of people asked, so I, I got like 20 something. It was all sold out right on the spot. I'm ordering again. Again, you cannot order to your house. They will not send it to you. So, but I have uh, my ways to get it through different places. So they send it to me. Each time I get like 20 something. So if you're interested, you leave your information, or you can see the website over there. And the email address, you can email me, or text me on the phone. This is, a, this is stuff you can text over there. Or the email, you can send me. I'm gonna, as soon as I'm gonna have the, the package, I'm gonna call, uh, let you know. I have one more question. So like, let's say there's an active shooter situation in the subway, and there's a stampede. There's what? A stampede, everyone's running. Okay. And like, you know, like, you can get trampled over. You can Every scenario is different. Yeah, so like. How distant is it from you? Of, like, is it close to you? Is it far from you? Where are you? Just in the middle of it. Just in the middle of it? Oh, okay. That'll be the. That's it. Yeah, it's like a. We said, what, what do we do? If I'm in the middle, I don't know what to, what to do. What do I do? Drop and roll. Huh? What do I do? Follow the crowd. On the floor. So I went on the floor, right? On the floor. The guy comes in. Let's say I'm pretending that. The guy comes in and shoots people. From here, shoot, shoot people, shoot people. From here, I go into his leg, take him down to the ground. Go on his balls. You have a gun? You want to come to this? Yeah. Okay. Hit. Hit him with a gun. Step on his face. Okay? But again, this is something that you're going to do if there's not an option, not a choice. You take him down from the leg. You pull the ankle and you push the knee. Forget about active shooter again, because this for security events. Yes. Anybody? You. The uh, brass knuckles, they work in every, every hat or only in the hat that you have? Only this hat. You think I'm going to make you, give you a, a brass knuckle for every hat? I'm going to be a reach. Yeah. Good for you. Any other questions? All right. I wish you had a good time. You understand. You learned something. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you never have to use it. Yeah. But again, Amazing. I encourage each one of you to go to your community leaders and speak to them about having security team mm -hmm. in the synagogue. In the synagogue. I've also, Rabbi has already signed for it that it's mandatory today and it's needed and everybody should do it. Yeah. I'll even uh, testify from a Rabbi on the video that he said, what, he tell people that they, it's mandatory for him to do. I hope you're going to have, now you have to deal with this, but if you need to do, you know what to do. Have a nice day. Thank you.